The movie begins with the scene of a woman who is codenamed The Bride being shot even though she tells her assailant, Bill, that the baby is his. She explains that she actually didn't die. She was in a coma for four years. She has now arrived here where she intends to kill Bill. Chapter 6, The Massacre at Two Pines. At the bride's wedding rehearsal, the reverend discusses the seating arrangements. His wife tries to convince the bride to find someone to attend the wedding from her family. The bride is bored, so she goes outside for some air, where she meets Bill, sitting on the porch playing a bamboo flute. She asks how he found her, and she asks if he's going to be nice. He says that he will be sweet, which she says is his best quality. Bill notes that she's pregnant, and she tells him that her fiance Tommy owns a used record store. She also works there and really likes it. She invites him to the wedding, and as they go inside, she introduces Bill as her father. Tommy suggests that Bill gives her away, but he replies that it would be asking a lot of him. He will, however, go out to dinner that night on the condition that Bill be allowed to pay for everything. Bill remains at the back as everyone else goes to the front of the church. Outside the church, four armed assassins appear who enter and shoot everyone inside. In the present day, Bill visits his brother, Bud. He asks him if he has kept up with this sword play. Bud says no and reveals that he actually pawned the sword that Bill gave him. Bill warns him about the bride, who will kill him if he doesn't accept his assistance in protecting him. They need to move on from the differences they had in the past. Bud thinks that maybe they deserve to die for what happened to the bride. Chapter 7, The Lonely Grave of Paula Scholes. Bud arrives at the strip club where he works. He's late, and despite there being no customers, he's called in to see the manager, Larry. Despite his protest, Bud has his shifts reduced for the next week and is sent home. On the way out, Bud is asked by a stripter named Rocket to clean up an overflowing toilet to which he agrees. Bud returns to his trailer and removes his hat. As he enters, we can see that the bride is hiding under the trailer. She crawls out and unsheathes a sword. Bud looks out of the window, but the bride stands next to the wall so that he can't see her. She removes her mask, and as she enters the trailer, Bud shoots her in the chest with a shotgun loaded with rock salt. She lays on the floor, wounded, and Bud injects her with a sedative. Bud gets his phone and calls Elle and tells her that he has the bride and offers to sell the sword for $1 million. Elle agrees to bring the money in the morning on the condition that the bride suffers to her last breath. At a cemetery, Bud and another man are digging a hole in which they plan to bury the bride alive. Bud gives her a choice. He will bury her tonight, but with a torch if she behaves. If she doesn't, then he will spray her eyes with mace. Then she will be blind and buried. She agrees, and as Bud nails down the coffin, he says that this is for breaking his brother's heart. The bride panics for a short time as the men pile soil on the coffin and leave. She then turns off the torch. Chapter 8, The Cruel Tutelage of Pai Mei. In a flashback, Bill and the bride are sitting around a campfire as Bill plays his bamboo flute. He tells her about his kung fu teacher Pai Mei, who had a five point palm exploding heart technique. This involves five blows administered to particular pressure points on the body with the fingertips. After taking five steps, the victim's heart explodes. Pai Mei did not teach this technique to Bill or anyone. Bill tells the bride that he thinks that she is wise beyond her years. He tells her to obey Pai Mei, whatever he says. Any sass or disobeying his commands will not work out well for her. As Bill descends some stairs, he tells her that Pai Mei will accept her as a student. The bride asks why and explain he is a lonely old man. The bride climbs the steps and finds a strange looking man waiting for her. They engage in combat, but he has nothing but disdain for her skills. He challenges her to land one blow on him, but she's unable to. He grabs her by the wrist and states that this hand now belongs to him, and it is to be strengthened. He tries to teach her to put her fist through a plank of wood at close range, but she fails. Over the next few weeks, she works hard on her strength, continuing to try to punch through wood. The old man is angered when she's unable to eat using chopsticks. Back in the coffin, the bride manages to remove her binds. After testing the boards above her for a weak spot, she starts hitting the lid repeatedly with her fists. Eventually, the wood starts to crack and she's covered in falling dirt. She manages to make her way up through the earth until she emerges from the ground in front of the gravestone. 
she lays panting on the ground. After she catches her breath, she walks into a cafe and orders a glass of water. Chapter 9, El and I. The bride has walked across the desert and through the mountains, eventually arriving at Bud's trailer just in time to see El enter. Bud tells El the name on the gravestone and then she asks to see the sword. She has a red suitcase full of money for him. She inspects the sword while he makes some drinks. Bud sits down and opens the suitcase. As he removes the money, he's bitten in the face by a venomous snake. As he dies, El stands over him and explains how the poison works. She also tells him that she regrets that perhaps the greatest warrior that she ever met was defeated by someone like him. The bride deserved better. El then calls Bill, saying that the bride killed his brother, and so she killed the bride. She also reveals to him the final resting place of the bride, whose name is Beatrix Kiddo. El continues to pack the money back into the suitcase when Beatrix flies in through the door and they engage in a long, vicious fight. El uses Beatrix's sword, and Beatrix discovers the sword that Bud told his brother that he had pawned. As they square off against each other, Beatrix asks El what she said to Pai Mei to make him snatch out her eye. She says that she called him a miserable old fool. In retaliation, she poisoned him. She now tells El that she is going to kill her with their own sword. They hold out their swords and engage, but as they stand close to each other, Beatrix plucks out her other eye. As El rides around cursing, Beatrix leaves the trailer. The snake is also slithering on the floor nearby. Last chapter, face to face. Beatrix has made her way to Mexico, where she visits a pimp named Esteban Vijayo, who is an old friend of Bill's. She asks him where Bill is, and he realizes that she must be Beatrix. Beatrix drives to Bill's room. She enters with a sword on her back and a gun in her hand. She turns a corner and is shocked to find a little girl pointing a toy gun at her and saying, freeze mommy. Bill is also with her and they both pretend that Beatrix has shot them. Bill announces that their daughter Bibi is impervious to bullets and Bibi repeats this fact. Suddenly, Bibi stands up and shoots her mother with her toy gun. Beatrix plays along and drops to the floor. Bibi goes to hug her mother and Bill explains that he told Bibi that her mother had been asleep and Bibi has been waiting a long time for her to wake up. As Bill makes sandwiches, he tells Bibi that he has been a real bad daddy. Bibi explains that she had killed her goldfish Emilio by removing it from its bowl and standing on it. She knew that it was a bad thing to do as soon as she lifted her foot. As Bill puts Bibi to bed, he explains to his daughter that he did to her mother what she did to Emilio. He shot her because he became sad when she left him. Beatrix lays with Bibi and they watch a movie as the little girl falls asleep. Afterwards, she goes out to join Bill. She finds him admiring her sword, and as she approaches him, he fires a shot to make her sit still. He then shoots her with a dart full of truth serum and waits for it to take effect. After some time, he asks her why she left him. In a flashback, Beatrix is in a hotel room taking a pregnancy test. She discovers that she is indeed pregnant. Beatrix is on a mission to kill Lisa Wong, but Lisa has already sent an assassin named Karen Kim to kill her. Karen blasts a hole through the door and they have a standoff at gunpoint. Beatrix tells her that she's pregnant and convinces her to walk away. Karen congratulates her as she leaves. Beatrix explains that before she took the test, she would have done anything for Bill, but now she was going to be a mother, things had to change. He asks why she didn't tell him this back then, but Beatrix believes that he would have claimed the child as his own and made it like them. Bill admits that he overreacted by shooting everyone at the wedding when he found her. She says that they have unfinished business and after a quick skirmish, Beatrix administers the five point palm exploding heart technique. Bill is shocked to learn that Pai Mei taught it to her and that she didn't tell him. They share a tender moment before Bill gets to his feet and takes five steps before dropping dead. Beatrix is driven away with Bibi. The next morning, Bibi is watching cartoons while Beatrix cries in the bathroom. She later leaves with Bibi to start a new life together. If you want to watch more on movie shortens, click on our next videos and playlist on the screen. Thanks for watching.